Accurate Dispersions, a business unit of the Sherwin-Williams Company, manufactures the highest quality colorants for paints. Recognizing the importance of growing our business in a sustainable, eco-friendly way, we started to develop a new container for our product in 2006. Our old gallon jug container was inefficient, as some product would get trapped in the handle. The bottle was also difficult to crush, which made its disposal more costly for our customers. We purchased these jugs from an outside vendor, and they had to be delivered to us by truck from 170 miles away. The new lighter weight bottle is made of PET plastic, similar to that of soft drink or water containers. Depending on availability, the bottles use 100% post-consumer recycled material, and the bottle itself can be recycled. The reduction of inbound trucks saves nearly 4,000 gallons of diesel fuel, and the reduction in the weight of the bottle saves over half a million pounds of plastic each year. The design of the new bottle makes for easier handling. It fits into the standard shaker used by our customers, and less of the product remains in the bottle as waste. The softer plastic of this bottle means it can be easily crushed by hand. In order to make our new bottle on-site, significant modifications to our filling line were required. Our engineers anticipated this innovation and designed the original line to be robust enough so that adaptation to the new bottle came easily. Making, filling, and preparing the bottles for shipment require a fully automated system of 10 steps. The process starts with the preforms. They are significantly smaller than the old style jugs. This one box of preforms replaces 12 pallets of the old containers. The box of preforms is lifted and poured into a hopper. From there, they are oriented before going through highly controlled heating zones. Next, the preforms go into a mold where 600 pounds of air blast them into shape. Chilled water cools the newly born bottle. Bottle blowing was a completely foreign process to us, but we met that challenge with a thorough 40 hour training program. Now, five of our operators run the machine with flawless consistency. A major change from the old adhesive labels we used to use are the new labels, which are made of flexible, recyclable plastic that is stretched around the bottle. The filling heads were modified in a conversion that took only two weeks. The capper for the old style jug had an error rate such that each cap had to be verified by hand. This new capper is 100 times less prone to error, so no manual verification is required. This also eliminates the possibility of repetitive stress injury. After being capped, a handle is applied. The handle and the cap are both recyclable. Each bottle is then imprinted with a lot number.
The case packer is the same machine we used for the old style jug. It took us about a week to modify it to pack the new bottles. Each box receives a barcode sticker and then takes a long 300-foot ride on the conveyor to the robotic arm. The robot stacks the finished cases into a preset configuration. The arm can pick up four boxes, each weighing 40 pounds, all with air-operated suction cups. The pallet of stacked boxes is then wrapped in stretched plastic film to keep them stable while shipping. From orders to operation, this new production line took us only five months to become fully operational. While we have added bottle manufacturing to our process, the number of staff required to run the new line remains the same. A cross-divisional team worked through various concepts, prototypes, and pilot runs leading up to this installation. This new filling process back integrates package manufacturing with the benefit of creating a container that is completely recyclable. Now we have a more sustainable process and we become a better steward of our environment. An example of ordinary people achieving extraordinary results.